Hello friends, good morning and welcome back to Lake Okaboji. We're getting an early start to the day, a bunch of kite flyers are meeting over here at a breakfast place called the Ritz. We get a good start to the weekend. You can see here behind me the frozen lake. I think it is so cool. I, I think maybe for people that live around here it might be old news, but just to see cars parked out here is it's really interesting to me. People ice fishing and commercials locally are about ice fishing and all the gear. This is a really cool part of the world. I didn't realize. Well, the Ritz is a really cool local place. We all are having a great breakfast here. Turns out a radio station is here to interview our friend Blake and Steve, who helps a lot with the uh, with the festival. This is gonna be cool. You guys are getting ready for their interview here. And my friend Michael K. Sherman is setting up some video and. This is going to be really neat. Michael's got a YouTube channel. I'm going to interview him. We'll talk a lot more about what he does with kites. But for now, let's check out this interview. Mike, are you getting set up here? Yeah. Looking good? Yeah, I'm all set. Good. If you want to see this full interview, check out my friend Michael's YouTube page. I'll put a link to that video when it is ready. Clear skies. Good wind. No cold today. No warm around. I'm very proud of my friend Blake back here. He's doing a great interview with this radio station. It's a big radio station too. And Steve just talked really highly about the festival and his kites and the whole experience. This is awesome. <laughs> wow, breakfast was great. There's one thing about being around here that I notice is different because it is so cold. I'm all warm, you know, this jacket is nice and we have overalls and the whole setup. It's very warm. But when you walk outside and take a breath in, especially after being in a really warm place, like almost burns your lungs. I'm finding myself coughing. <laughs> Welcome to Frozen Lake Okaboji. Let's go check out some kites. First kites are up here on the frozen lake. I'm still amazed at this. I love these big kites. 
It's just so cool to see these things flying. Just found somebody's ice pick. Pretty light wind right now, but it'll pick up this afternoon. It's gonna be really windy tomorrow, so we're enjoying this light wind day out here. I don't even use those. What? That uh, tensioner. Yeah, yeah. Well, the wind is really dying out here. Oh. Kites are falling down, but it's okay, because we're having a good time just hanging around and talking. A lot of kite talk happening out here. You know, how much weight will that line hold? What kind of knot are you using on that one? What's your favorite flying field? When was the last festival I saw you at? You know, all that kind of stuff. This guy's starting to fill up. So that wedding gift you were telling me about, yeah, uh, it is really rad. If I ever get married, I hope somebody, <laughs> the, I hope that lady buys me something as cool as this. It's something he, uh, from the first time we ever went kite flying before we were even dating, he talked about wanting this kite. So figured it was a fitting <laughs> present. This is really rad. <laughs> Aaron, your wife got you the coolest wedding gift ever. This is really cool. Yeah, I don't think she can top this one. What she told me, she's, I'm gonna buy you the gift but I'll never have to buy you another one. I won't be able to top it, so. <laughs> It really looks like these sea critters are swimming. This wind is perfect. You know, a lot of people think of a kite festival and they think uh, just like a diamond kite, Mary Poppins, or you ever heard that song? But this is the kind of kites that I think about when I think about a kite festival. You can use your imagination here and you can really just see these sea critters floating through the water you can see the eagle down there flying through the air. A lot of these kites are animal themed. And some are very unique just shapes of, you know, big bowls and things. But could you imagine just seeing these float through the water or fly through the air yourself? Like a little kid. What would it be like to be a little kid and come out here and see all these kites flying? So amazing. I never got to experience this as a little kid. I don't think kites like this even existed when I was a kid. I know there were some big kites, but not quite like this. So we're starting to get a lot of kites up in the air. And the festival hasn't even really started. These guys just uh, rolled up here and handing out waters to all the kite flyers. Very nice. I really like this set of sea themed kites back here. Red and black has been my colors too. I like that theme. I also like teal and orange for some of my kites. But I really like this whole set. So cool. friend Grant came out and handed me a water and said, hey, I already got 19 kites up. You guys are slacking off. What's going on? Well, here's the kites he put up. They all attach to this one ice anchor in one single line. Technically, he's telling the truth. Yes, he did get 19 kites up before anybody else. That's true. You're gonna be the first one to pack all your 19 kites too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I see how you work here. It's pretty smart. Win for this guy? Yeah. Getting squirrely. 
about lunchtime and gonna head into the kiter's tent. Let's see what we got here. Still have a lot of kites to put up in the air. So many kites here. It's not only this pile of kites here, it's each one of these big bins were full of mostly Peter Lynn kites, some premier kites and some handmade kites from some of the people out here on the field. And then we have other people's collections that are laying around here, what's left of them. Boji spuds, donuts, I finally get to try one. What are we gonna do this one? Glazed. Okay. Regular glaze, my favorite. It's really cold, but this is really good. This is exactly the type of glazed donut that you want to find. Homemade or store made in that store. Awesome. Way to go. It's not just these amazing donuts, but we've got chili, regular chili and white chili, and all the stuff for that, and then these cinnamon buns. They look amazing. I'm kind of full from the donut though, but I did get a bowl of chili here. It's cold out. It's supposed to eat chili, right? Sure is nice having one of these ATVs out here to come pick up your kites. Looks like Gumby is officially the last kite in the air today. See his eyes poking up off the ground. That's it. Way out there. Oh, he's flying again. Friends, that does it for me today. I really appreciate you joining me out here on this icy kite field at the Boji Kite Festival. Join me tomorrow. There's going to be new kites out here, different kites that you haven't seen yet in these videos. It's going to be a great time. If you want to see some other adventures from the University of Okaboji Winter Games, check out my other channel, Dre's World. I will put a link to that above, and you will not want to miss that either. Friends, if you like what you're seeing here, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. And of course, happy flying. Still going. <laughs>